Oh, hi, my name is Pangura. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to be recording jazz drums. Let's get to it. Drums, basically. This is gonna be fun. Okay, let's get down to the mixer. I've got my microphones connected to the microphone inputs on channels 1 to 12. All except the snare top mic are going through Tascam's Ultra HDA preamps. Snare is patched in as light input from my patch bay. I'm running two XORs to the recording part of the room connected to Golden Age Project's 1073 clone preamp. I have one of them permanently set on snare and the other is free for stuff like vocals, guitar amp mic, crotch mic, room mic, eventually everything that requires a bit of good old saturation. Occasionally I like to patch in my compressors to get even more of it. Playback from the DAW is coming on channels 19 and 20. And on kick drum I prefer the Tascam Pre and just a little bit of that one knob compressor to tame the attack and elongate the sustain. Same is on toms and lastly the hi-hat, right overheads and room mics are running through the HDDA preamps as well. Again I'm using some compression on the rooms just to make him sound bigger and washier. Let's get back to the drums. Let's take a closer look at the drum set. We got AKG D112 on the kick drum, classic mic, nothing special. 
Although when recording pop and rock I often use a second mic, usually a large diaphragm condenser on Omni pattern, just works a little bit better for the low frequency information. SM57 on tomes, Beta 57 on snare top because of its hypercardioid polar pattern and another 57 on bottom. I got the Shure SM7B on hi-hat, Lewitt LCT 140s on overheads and LCT 040 on right. Those are the direct microphones on the kit. I also have a pair of Audio-Technica's 80-20-20s which are facing the opposite corner of the room, just above the ceiling while receiving reflections, adding size and ambience to the drum kit. As you can see I have a pretty big drum set because most of the time I am recording for pop and rock artists where we want big and thunderous drums. That's why for today's purposes I have decided to tune the toms to their most resonant pitch, even if that is considered a bit too low for jazz. On the other hand, the snare is traditionally tuned higher. For cymbals we got Zutan raw hi-hat and right, which are very dry and musical cymbals, paired with a Q-Crash which is a brighter cymbal by Zutan but still very close to the style of the Raw series. When recording something that needs to be bigger and washier, I use this stairwell as a chamber, I put a couple of mics and compress the hell out of them. Very cool. As you are probably guessing already, it's definitely a budget setup. Those are my cheap brushes. But I think it sounds nice and that's all that I care about. Okay, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and also check out Pangura Music Studios playlist which contains almost all the projects I've worked on for the past two years. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.